broadcast has been paused. There you go. It says that? It's on now. Is it on now? Uh-huh. It's Does on it now. say before what I was going to do? Did you make all that up? No, I did not make that up. That? It didn't say that right before okay. it came live. All right. Sorry. We had to fire Jill because she clicked off the video. So <laughs> anybody needs a job, just let me know. Um, sorry. Just kidding. Um, hello to everyone. I don't know where we are on the hellos and sorry about that, but we're going to pick up where we left off. So we're going to go in and print something in a minute. I'm going to show you how to print on the fabric and then we'll do the customer creations when we're in there because that's on my computer in there. So what we're starting with is a piece of fabric. It's kind of a linen-y kind of thing. They said bring back Katie. Bring back Katie, yeah. I you agree. You know, she got married and she's like all about her husband and stuff like that. I don't know where it was. They're fixing up their little house and being all romantic. So, all right, here's our fabric. You want to zoom in on the fabric? Um, there's what we're using. I'm sure you can use lots of different things. I like this because it was kind of thin so I could work with it. And because obviously it's going to be easy to fray the edges, which I like the look of. So I have no idea what, what it is, but you see it close up and there it is. All right, now what we're doing this is so easy. If you have full page labels, that's great. All I have is half page labels, so we're going with half page labels. We have a hello from San Antonio. Hey, Texas. And Sarah Gillespie is saying take three, can't hear or see. Saying what? So she can't hear or see. Can't hear or see. Can anybody else not hear or see? Give us some feedback here. That part I did not do. Are we, are we seeable and hearable? Anybody seeing and hearing? Deanne Bailey said she's actually watching from Connecticut today, helping her daughter get ready for her baby. Okay, so you can see us in here. Oh, do you have a baby? Yeah. Oh, congrats. That's awesome. Totally awesome. Stephanie Holland said she can see in here fine. Okay. All right. So we're putting the labels on. If you want to move, you don't have to get me. Just get the project. You want to move a little closer? No. Okay, no? All right. All right. So all I'm doing is putting labels on the back of the fabric and like I say if you've got full sheets that's even better all we have are half sheets so I'm Everybody's using saying those they can see in here. okay good 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 and Sarah said sorry she now can't on her phone okay yay all right once you get enough that you can cut it the size of an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper you're good to go so we're going to Hi from Saltville, Virginia. Hey, Virginia. Shelly Salinas wants to know where Tom is. Tom's on his way back. He got busy. Got Dan said up. the baby's not here yet. They're setting up the nursery and having a shower. Oh, how fun is that? And That's are those awesome. regular printing labels? Yes, they are regular printing labels. They're what we use when we print for FedEx. It's just, we just have the half sheets. If you had a full sheet label, you could just slap a full sheet on and be done. So, but we're making do with what we've got. Now, I wouldn't try and piece together a dress labels. That would be a little loony. But, okay. Uh, Lori said hello from Texas. Hey, Lori. And Joanne Barton said hello. Hey, Joanne. All right. So now we've got Diane Pruitt's watching from Two Girls Treasure in Florence, South Carolina. Hey, yay, Diane. Now we have a piece of fabric that is covered with labels. Okay. And front. We have a first time watching. <gasps> yay, who's that? Dave Fry. Hey, Dave. He needs a free gift. Well, yeah, okay. You get the pleasure of Laura. No, no, no. There's no, your no. gift. There has to be something more than that. Heavens. Okay, so piece, piece of fabric, labels on one side, fabric on the other. Okay, let's take it in the other room. I'll show you what we're going to do, and we'll do our Thursday at three people. Okay. So, Ooh. After you. Sherry that said double stick tape with cardstock works well too, and you can reuse it. Well, Sherry. We're doing labels because that's just one step. Slap a label on. We're not doing double stick tape and cardstock. Just kidding. That's a jizzy. Okay. Let me just, here we go. Let me just text him. Okay. <laughs> Tom. He's quit probably calling to tell you to fire me. Calling on live video. Love you. Boom. All right. Here we go. Let's do Thursday at three real quick. Oh, I like, Kimberly said to give me a day off with Bay. Oh, well, there you go. For what? For being fabulous? Yeah. All right, here company, we go. Company, you get to come around this way this time. And, hello. Wait, oh, there we go. Okay. So, so we're going to close that. And we're going to find. And Shelly said I'm doing a good job. Fabulous job. Um, I waited too far close to tell your email was gone. In case there was a bad email there. I know, right? <laughs> um, 
I should have pulled it up. I'm looking for screenshots. Yeah, wait just one sec here. Okay, now that now that wait, everybody's looking, and I I'm know. panicking. All right, here we go. Let's, Let's focus on the cute little desk. Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, got it. No. Okay, sorry. But I I know how to get it now. You sure? Yep. And here's screenshots. Okay, here we go. Jill Baumgartner says she's late. What are we making? We are making all kinds of fun stuff that we have not made yet, so we'll show you in just a second here. This is Misty Kobar. She, oh, I want it bigger. Shoulder. There we go. So I don't want to mess it up All right. Before and after. How fabulous is that? There's before, obviously, and cotton with dark glaze. Fabulous job. Woohoo! $35 credit. Place an order right in the notes section that you want to, that you've got a $35 that you want. I want a $35. That you've got a $35 credit and we will refund $35. Dave said he got in trouble for asking for a free gift on Facebook. But he loves you. I think it's a he. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, now this one's awesome. This is and Jeannie Wendy Williams is not as fabulous as Laura, so good choice. Okay, I have no <laughs> idea what that little interaction was about, but since I'm fabulous, She's in it's Buffalo, all in New York, and she did decided not to watch Wendy Williams so that she could. <gasps> Woo! The first time all right, her. Wendy Williams has a lot of personality. Okay, so this is for this person who I don't want to mess up her name. I'm going to go with Beta Egan. Would that work for you? Is that what you would say? Yeah. All right. Okay, this is awesome because this is the before. Are you ready for the after? Dun, 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 dun. And the after is, I'll show this after, and then I'll show the really cute after. Okay, here's the after. I know, right? And I'm pretty sure it's putty and dark glaze. It is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. And then here's the fabulous after shot. It was for, look how cute. Ah! <laughs> Big boy bed. Look how teeny he looks in that bed. Isn't that so cute? He looks so happy. He's absolutely adorable. So, so cute. Okay, so you've got a $35 credit. Also, let us know that when you place an order that you got the 35 that you won the $35 credit and we will refund. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is go to what? Dave said his mom, Sue, loves you too, and they're both first-time watchers. That's so exciting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's and awesome. And hello from Chris Callis in Nebraska. Hello. And okay. I'm sorry if I missed any others. We are going to the Graphics Fairy website. Do I need to be over there? Anybody been on the Graphics Fairy website? Um, if you go to, it's right here. Zoom in right there. TheGraphicsFairy.com. I can't remember I got in right there. Zooming. The Okay, go to that site. There are millions of awesome images you can download. Here are some of the ones. Well, you saw the ones on the baskets already. And then we did this one, because sometimes you have an up and down basket. Plus, these are great. If you print on these, you can make pillows. You can, you know, if you've got a store or if you're decorating your home or whatever it is, you can do pillows and whatever. And I played this afternoon, and yes, you can print in color. That's cute. I know, so I'm gonna try this one now and see what happens. So we've got our paper, I mean our fabric, and we put adhesive labels on them on the back of it to make it stiffer so it'll go through the printer. And now we're gonna print this. What? Kimberly Smith said she's so sad she didn't get a Thursday at three-ish $35 credit for her fabulous paint display, but she did get a wonderful personal phone call from you, Laura, and that's even better. And you're a retailer now, Kimberly. You can't win nothing. Okay, here we go. We are putting the fabric in the printer. Dun, dun, dun. And Sarah's taking a break so from excited. bathing the stinky cat because she just doesn't want to do it. I agree with that one. Yeah, I'm not really flattered about it. If I come before <laughs> stinky cat, that doesn't really do a lot for me, but I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Hey, at least and she's we're here. going to print. I think this one's going to be pretty because it should be like that vintage blue on around the edges. Okay, so you just put it in normally, right? I just put the paper in, I mean the fabric in like it was a piece of paper and hit print. And here it comes. I'm so excited. And Sherry Ooh, Fox look, look, she's look. watching from work. Look how fabulous is that? Totally cool and vintage. That's the blue where if you look on the computer screen, see how it was blue around it, and that's where the blue is. Yes. Okay. So now listen Cindy to the rain. Lively said the rain. You can use a stiff fabric iron on stabilizer too. Well then I'm really not showing anybody anything new, am I? 
Yo, but you don't have to spend do money to get the fabric iron on things. No, I just stole this from up front where they yeah. did the FedEx labels. So. Is it an inkjet or laser? Does it, is, it matter? This is inkjet. I don't think it matters. I would have thought inkjet would have been, like, would have bled or whatever. But when I put the gunk on it and everything, nothing happened. It's it's fabulous. So it's just an old cheap inkjet print printer. In fact, I got it for cheap because if you look, it's huge and nobody wants a huge printer anymore. So I got it for like 80 bucks. Okay, take your labels off. Cut it to the size you want it. I'm not, probably not going to take the time to fray it. Although it would look much better if I did. What's that website again? TheGraphicsFairy.com And I actually have, not that you can't find what you like on yourself, but I actually have links to everything I have printed. And I'm going to post those. So if you want to find, because it would be like finding a needle in the haystack to try and get the exact same images. If you like these images, you can just click on the link. And I actually have the link like where you print them. So then you're gonna, ooh, this is fraying fabulous. So then you're just gonna fray the edges because it looks better when you're gunking it on if you have frayed them. Okay, so, and I'm not gonna take the time to do the whole bottom, but, ooh, it's going fast. I can never cut it where it frays evenly all the way across. There's always some kind of issue, like right here, where we're just gonna cheat and cut it. We have a high from Tampa, Florida. Hey, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Tampa. Tampa. My old stomping grounds. Is it really? Yep. And well, near it. Clearwater. Um, Lori says inkjet has bled on her several times. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I'm going to try this. If it bleeds, I'll be really embarrassed, but everyone I've done so far has not bled. And so. Captain Robin says pinking shears make a great fray. Oh, because they look cool or because they actually help the fabric fray? Uh, no, she doesn't say that. Well, but I asked her, so now okay. she can respond. Now she can respond. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> I want to know. Because I don't have any pinking shears, but if they help you fray stuff, I'll get them. I know they make a cool edging, but I didn't know if they actually helped you fray, too. If they do, I'm going to be going to Walmart on the way home. All right. Pretty so nice. we've kind of frayed it because I'm going to paint a basket and then we're going to stick it on. Okay. Look how cute is that. Yay. Okay. So cute. Yep. All right. Let's go gunk some stuff <laughs> and paint some baskets since that's what everybody wants. Robin said no she's on us. the road and her phone keeps buffering. Oh, I'm sorry. But it was worth it to be able to come by and meet you guys today. That was so fun. Robin came from Tennessee to say hello because she loves us. All right. Now, and Dave said he will send some pictures of his crafts that he makes little country stories made with new paper. Awesome. Okay. Pinking shears do not help fray, but only an edge. Okay. Well, they are a cute edge, and it would be faster sometimes than trying to fray. And there's some fabrics you just can't fray. So, good tip, because that would look cute. I didn't even thought of that. Okay. We're going to... Okay, if you look at this basket, we painted it... Oh, you have the phone and it has my before picture. Ha! <laughs> okay, this was just one of those. Like, it was this color. The same color as this basket. Hey! You want to take over and Jill can be reading comments and names? Hey, hey, she's not reading comments thank you. Uh-huh. Tom's here! Comments and names. I just messed up the first Tom's here, Tom's here, Tom's here. This basket was also unattractive. We wrapped the handle with ribbon and put one of the French script doohickeys on the front of that. So we're going to slap some paint on this one and let's do you have to read them for right now because I'm not on there yet <laughs> oh sorry maybe ironing the image will heat something oh I don't need to go way back you haven't read any of them no I have read them I'm oh. reading them as they pop up what are you up to uh the pinking shears well I can't do that that's gonna take me forever just start where it is is it an inkjet or laser oh, it's inkjet all right um, sorry people, I'm trying to catch up. That's okay, I've already been fired, so. Oh, <laughs> well I need to be fired. Uh -huh. There is a secret to fraying. Oh, what is it? It's called pulling a thread. Oh, who said that? Was that Sherry Moss? Uh, Peggy Lee Mooney said oh, that. okay. Connie Dobler said, maybe ironing the image will heat set the ink. Peggy Lee Mooney said, hi, Tom. Hello, Peggy Lee Mooney. How okay, are you? Okay, we're switching real quick to cans because we're They're doing They're all saying, hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi there. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What, what kind of fabric are you using? Um, I don't know. It's just some fabric. It's kind of like a linen. 
Um, if you want to take a close-up shot of it, Tom. Just like I wasn't prepared for it. Apparently, Laura wasn't. Where is it? Right there. Everything I printed on. Show the edge so they can kind of see the edge of the fabric. Well, you didn't set any lights up. No, we didn't. Sorry, guys. Y'all are working in the dark a little bit tonight. Okay, let me tell them something about the cans. Because we're switching to the little cans. Because we're doing both projects. Because we've got the French script going on and gunk going on. This is the can before... I don't even worry about getting all of the label off because it just makes it more rustic so I don't stress about that. And then I paint a coat of black on so that when I distress it, it kind of looks cool and more rustic than the silver can coming through. And now I'm painting a coat of cloud. So don't stress when you take your label off. And then we do recommend, because we do not have one, one of those safety <laughs> lid getter offers so that you don't cut yourself. We have one at home? Well, I didn't have one here. Oh. Okay. Safety first, babe. And Jill, will you turn the fan on and All set right. these in front of the fan? So Jamie putting... Harris Quick said hi, y'all. Hey. Okay. Jenny Hendrix said such a neat person like me, loving it. Patty DeBoer said hi, Tom. Hello. Joanne Barton said hello, Tom. Shelly Martin <laughs> said hi, Tom. Welcome back. Thank You're you. You get more highs than I got. Nancy yeah. Bradley said hi, hi, Tom. Jill Peterson's watching. Thank you guys very much. Sherry Moss said, no, not me. Is that, oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, I was teasing with her. Oh. Uh, yeah, she said it looks like linen. It is some kind of linen, I think. The fabric. We're not talking about the paint color. Oh, I was going to say. Okay. I'm sure muslin would work, which would be an inexpensive option. It would fray easier. And Jill says it would fray easier. All right. Now we've got the first coat of cloud on there. So. All right. Um. Yes. Hello from Mission, Texas, from Rosalind to Excellent. It's really been raining in the Rio Grande Valley. It is pouring here. It is raining here big time. It is coming down in sheets. That's why I'm a little late. And Monica Hernandez said thanks. Okay, we're going to go with putty on this basket. Sherry Moss said that's nubby linen. Nubby linen. Michelle McBride said hello. Yeah. Nubby linen? I need some nubby linen, please. Okay. Pam Bettingfield said hello from Alabama. Roll Tide. You are. <laughs> that's a. That's hilarious. That's a sports team, Laura. Yeah, I knew that, Tom. That's why I said that's hilarious. She doesn't know we're from Kentucky and live in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, painting baskets. That's what people ask about. We are painting baskets. Lisa Argani said we need rain in Connecticut. Well, maybe to come you your have way. Some you... of ours. Heavens. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to smoosh oh. down in the cracks on this one. I'll actually show you what she's doing now. I'm not going to paint the whole thing, but... You need to prep the baskets. No, you do not. Nope, just paint them. No prepping the baskets. No need. Cindy, right. Cindy obviously says can't see too many comments. Nancy, can't see... Oh, oh. oh. Nancy Bradley says send rain to local, Lake Oconee. Okay. Um, this one... Because I think this is going to blend. Do we agree? Yes. Oh. It's a project, honey. Sorry. So I'm going to do... Of course it's going to blend, dear. Do you want me to read the rest of them? Yes. Well, uh, yeah, because I did something. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I got Did fired. you do something? Sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> Shelly said she's loading her people bottles, even if she had a little baby with them. Oh, is she the one? Oh, I didn't read that. I don't remember the name. Is she the one that, like... Put them in without putting the lid. I did that exact same thing. I filled my feet full of bottles without looking to see if the lid was on. Shelby Gressman said she needs a new rain in Utah bag. Sherry Moss said she had to work great on baskets too. Jamie said she's looking forward to the project because she's got lots of baskets and she wants to finish. You can totally redo a basket with this process. Rosalinda said she loves everything to make. I've seen things at empty places that don't measure up your stuff. Aw, that was a lovely thing to it say. May not be able to hear you it was fan. not dry. It was not dry, but I went ahead and brushed some of this over the putty. Do you see on the basket? Not on me, on the basket. Not on the brush, on the basket. This is straight seaside. This is putty, but I brushed seaside over it. Can you tell? Can you see, Tom? Hmm? Can you see? Can you see? I'm sure they can. Okay. All right. And we're going to let it dry for a minute. I'm going to make the edge across the bottom, too, because I think it makes it more finished looking. Is really really fast now if you want to get real you can come in with 
another coat, which we may do, and you can get everything inside there. But the best look for baskets is rustic, so I wouldn't stress about getting every little thing. Like this one, I just dry brushed. Let me show you what I did on this one. This it's hard to see it there. because there's not any lights in here. Yeah, well, if you really well, cared about well, lights, you would have been here sure. on time. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. <laughs> I ran into this in trouble. All right, so now we're gonna do this picnic basket in linen. All right. All I did, if you want to come over to the picnic basket side, Tommy. Well, I can't see because it's too dark, seriously. No, but you can't see that side at all, so you'll have to lift it up. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. And I don't care that I don't get full coverage because it's really cool and rustic. You just don't want a ton of paint on your brush. Okay, can you see the top of it? Can you see the top? Yep. Jeannie Hendricks would like to know what kind of paint you're using. Oh my goodness, we're using... A re reset. Re what, what kind of paint are we using? We're using, everyone say it with me, Wreath on Junk by Lara, furniture and cabinet paint. What the heck? You're, what? The phone's going bright and dark and bright and dark. Okay, all it takes change it is unlike a piece of okay unlike a piece of furniture I'm not where what we're going to tell you is when you're painting furniture to go across in long strokes all the way across like this when you're painting the baskets there is nothing wrong with this way and then this way because it's got all kinds of nooks and crannies and crevices and all that kind of jazz on this side I didn't do the inside, but I did do that little top flap. So I'll do the top flap here. Plus that lets everything dry. Okay. I got that edge. But see, it's really easy just to... Debbie Parks is watching. Hey, Debbie. Really, really easy. Now, I went today specifically to buy safety pins, which I cannot find now. So they're either in the car dropped out somewhere or... They're still at the store in my basket. But what the only problem I find with these picnic baskets is because I think they're vintage and cool. But the big problem I always find whenever I get one of these is this. See how that's broken right here? So, not that I can do it right now because I don't have my safety pins, but I'm gonna take a safety pin and I'm gonna put it through this ribbon and stick it through there and make my own little tie. The wicker tie won't work, but this will be really cute tied right there. And then I'll just snip these into the same thing so that everything matches. So I'll just connect it myself, if that makes any sense. I just don't know where my safety pins are and I gotta have a pin to stick it through the wicker and up through here. Cause the ribbon will just wad up and make me mad. So right. that's my plan. Ooh. Lots of hearts cause I have a great plan. Yep. Cause I'm a genius. Oh, the heart cause I'm there. fabulous, right? Then just like we did on the other basket, I'll be, so I didn't paint it, wrapping the handle on this one, which just requires this, and just make sure you get it tight, and then glue it at the edge, and then tie a bow, so that's all we're going to do with that, and then it's going to look so cute after we wrap the handle. Tiny Dabbler said rawhide ties would be good too. Oh yeah, they would. Ooh, that would be good too. Why am I doing this? Why aren't y'all doing this? Well, they're beginning to wonder that problem. They probably are. Thanks. And then I can take this ribbon and pull it through here. Or rawhide or shoestrings or whatever else fabulousness you guys think of because you're so much smarter than me. And that was not sarcastic. Why do, you have to, why do you have to lock the basket? So that you don't get in and eat everything before we get to the picnic spot. I was going to say, all I got a knife. <laughs> mm -hmm. Take about 15 seconds. So once we've wrapped the handle, and then we've got this tied, it's gonna be so, so cute. And my basket was $3. Sherry, so they're not getting you because you're the queen. No, 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 no. I'm not, no, no, oh, no, and I no. love the suggestions. She's not a queen, she's not high maintenance, she's not nothing. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Look how cute. All right, and now, you would follow me anywhere if this was filled with food. 
I would follow you anywhere. Mm -hmm. Now again, you got a picture, the handle wrapped, I'll finish it all up and, send it, and post a picture. But, way cute and not painted solid. Okay? Do what? Alright. Oh, sorry. Alright, we're already pretty dry here. Some of the spots inside are dry, so I'm going to give it another couple minutes and put another coat oh, of sorry. cotton. Sorry, there, Jill. On one of these. She yes. should be. <laughs> Jill's the, the cooker, the chef, the chefess. Okay, a little bit more cotton on these. And that's the other reason to paint them black is... Nope, I'm just going to do one so they can see the process, but it's not necessary to to show them three. They all seem very bright. Of course, they're branching out on their own anyway, not listening to anything I say, so. You want me to tell you a funny story? I'd love a funny story, Tom. I hope doesn't come across as too arrogant. What? What? Why wasn't I here on time? Because you were working. I was working. Uh -huh. Is that what you told them? Yes. You were busy. I was busy. A part I needed for our boat came in. And, it, you know, it's not expensive, but it's rather expensive. It took a while. Da -da -da. So I asked my daughter to go help me put it on the boat because that needed to be done. And when he rain. says boat, he means... Boat. Pontoon boat. We it. love it, but it's like 15 years old. One of the projects oh, yeah. he's been doing is scraping all the sides because all the tape or whatever it is is all coming off, and so we're working. It's a fixer up, or it's yeah. we're refunking it. Its motor is a cane pole. It's a lot like those ships. Oh, in it Venice. is not. <laughs> I stand out back and push. But anyway, whatever. we call it our Tom Sawyer raft. Uh huh. But so. I t we put it on the boat. I turn around, all right, Megan, let's put it on. All of a sudden, I hear a splash, and it goes to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> What'd you do? I have to get another one. It's gone? Yeah. What'd you get? You what was it? it? Was it your mirrors? It was 30 feet down, so I didn't go get them. What was it? I'm not telling you it's a surprise. It's not a cane pole, so you can help me push. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? can't even fire Megan because she's not working with us. I hear this bang and I'm like, what is that? And I looked over to, to see the end of it going bloop, bloop, How bloop, many times bloop, did she say sorry? She did say sorry. Alright, we're going to try and stick this on just for the sake of time. But if it gets smeary, it's not a lack of mad skills. It's because the paint's not totally dry. But this gives you the idea of what to do. So, Deanne Bailey said, I'm such a precious person. She called you precious. Well, she said we were a precious she's couple, but I know what I know what she meant. She's got to get over meant. here and meet you. We got to clarify some things. I know what she things. meant. Uh -huh. Kathy Debner is watching. Oh, hey, Kathy. All right. Okay. No butt shots. I'm not. I don't believe you. All right, here we go. Gunk all over the side where you're going to put it. Generously, generously gunk it. And then the whole point of this is to be rustic. So you're going to squish it in and out of the cracks. All right, here we go. I'm trying not to go crooked the same direction I always do. Okay. Is it going lighter and darker on the screen? Because it is on this can this huh? We got the gun. Keep it to quit doing it. And now That's why we need the light, sweet girl. Well, then you should have been here on time. I should have been here on time. Mm -hmm. Now it's gonna make it dark, but when it dries, it dries lighter. I can't even yeah, I'll stand back here. It's ridiculous. Sorry guys, I'm trying. Larry gets telling me about putting up lights, but I'm like, mm, this is terrible. It make me hot. Blinding. She says it's blinding, Gail Minto okay. did. Now, this is going to dry a whole lot better than it looks right now. Ta-da! That looks really stupid. But when it dries, you can see the I'm design. You can see the image. It might get bright. And. Amy Roberry is watching. Hey, Amy. And the other thing you can do with baskets we have discovered Moses is... Moyer said love your videos thank you yeah sorry it went bright <laughs> Jenny Hendricks said is that Mod Podge 
Oh my goodness, people. She's new. I'm She's just new. kidding. <laughs> Say it with me. It's gunk. It's refund gunk. It's our decoupage medium and it's fabulous and it's easy to use and it's fast drying and it's wonderful and we love it. Okay, I'm adding glaze and up here. It's dark and you can't see it, but nobody put lights up. Did I say that? You, a couple because times. Because the light guy was late. The light guy was This late. looks a little bright compared to, I mean, that's going to dry, but so I'm glazing. You can glaze on the baskets, just wipe it on. You don't even have to worry about wiping it off. Just brush it on wherever you want it. The other thing you can put on it is metallics. I'm going to say all this before y'all make suggestions. You can do metallics. You can do, what else? I had a couple other things. Tenable glaze would work. See, look, look, look. You can dry brush just another color over it, which is what we did. The basket behind me, if you want to zoom in, Tom, is slate. You can colorize the top, top, top. That's slate, but I put cotton over it. Just dry brush cotton over it. In fact, look, let me show you. So there it is, dry brushed over it. And the back side, this is a real gift because this weighs a thousand pounds now. I have it right. No, 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 no. I weigh a thousand pounds. No. They can't see it because it's not light now. Lean it up towards the light. Seriously. It'll spill on me. There's water oh, in there. Well, here, let me get closer to me. So, just slate. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. And slate with the cotton. Can you tell the difference? Say yes, Jill. Yes. Oh, wow. You can tell a big yeah, difference. Yeah. Are you just making that up, right? No. Okay. And I also brushed over the little fabric piece once it was dry. You can tell better on this one. See right here? You can see I just brushed over the I'd have to come back there. Alright. Sorry, sweetie. That's okay. Or just okay. okay. Patty DeBoer said I'm beautiful. Can you see on that one? Yes. Way cool. Yeah, that's very dark. Perfect. Oh, went light again. Good heavens. Why is it doing that? We've done this before without lights. Yeah, you can't. Well, like I say, light again while you're here. Okay. That's going to be drying. And we're going to do our last little can here. Oh, sorry, Jill. Okay. Yay. I'm going to put the link on for this, too. I'm going to add the link for this, too. Me either. You can print a page that has all of these on one page. Way cute ones. And we've got this one that we used right here. And we've got, this is an asparagus can. They're cool because they're tall and skinny. And that was this one. Like me. Mm-hmm. And we've got this one. Which is right here. Way, way cool. All you do, and I'm probably going to mess it up right now if I try. Yeah, it's still Well, then by all means, try. No, I, you should sand it. See how I've sanded them and pulled the paint off in some places and just bonked them and knocked them. That's what I should do here, but if I do that, it's going to pull everything off because it's still insanely wet. Oh. So I'm just gonna gunk one of these on so you can see how easy it is. When you cut them out, you don't have to be. Where do you get Who? These, these pictures? These. Who wants to know? I don't know if she's talking these about the cans. Well, the cans we got from the Dollar General store and dumped all of the food out of them and gave it to Katie to take home for groceries since she's poor and just married and she was excited. Um, these, I'm putting a link on the uh, Facebook page for how to print out this page of all of these. So you have all of them. So I'm getting ready, but you don't have to cut out exactly. It kind of blends in. It just kind of works. These are all the ones I have left. I'm trying to decide which one to pick. I'm gonna do this one. Okay. And we're going to, where's my gunk bowl? There's your gunk. Oh, sorry. Nope, it's all good. Okay. So we're going to, see it's already pulling the paint off because I didn't let it dry. It's humid here. If you wait for it to dry, it will work. Okay. Gonna stick it on. It's a tin can, so don't worry about wrinkles because it's a tin can. And then we're gonna put gunk on top. Which is gonna paint it. A little bit, but I wouldn't care if it did. If it gets wrinkles and you're stressed about wrinkles, 
What's the solution? Amy Roberry knows. The solution is put it in the sunshine and walk away. Suzette Bowman said so we could reverse print and use the gunk as a transfer medium? Yes, we have done that. Yes, we have. And I can give more specific instructions for that, but yes. Uh-huh. Although, if you look at the tin cans, oh, well, I mean, there's other things you would want to do it on, but printing like this and gunking it, it, it blends in and looks rustic and cool. Do it on one of the cans that's already dried, Tom. So, you know, I didn't cut out exact. Careful, there's water in them. Oh. And my thumb's in front of them. Here, do this one. Jill, you're just going to have to be on Here. camera for a minute. There you go. One. What? I'm doing this one. Do this one. It's pretty. That's well, okay. I have one friend watching you I haven't seen in a while. Sorry, so guys. I apologize for moving around, but nobody hooked lights up. Y'all may not know that. Isn't that cute? So, so cute. That's cute. Are you talking about a thumb or my, the can? The can. Oh. The can. <laughs> the can's cute too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so unless anybody has any questions, we have painted baskets, we have gunked on baskets, we have printed on fabric, we have printed French script, we have painted cans, we have put the French script on the cans with the gunk, we have sanded the metal cans, and dry brushed and glazed. Any questions about anything? Because we did a butt ton today. It's a great thing for making gifts, making decor for your home, making things to sell for your booth or your store. Awesome, awesome ideas that cost very, very little. No questions? I do oh. have, what? Yes, why are you sometimes mean to your husband? He seems like that a real gentleman. Okay. Since you did that, I'm just going to say, for those of you who were with us last week, that it's obvious that I won. Have any of you seen orange paint today? <laughs> oh, I left it at no. the house. I oh, have it. Oh, no, you did not. I left it at he the house. He did not leave the orange paint at the house. There is no orange paint. I left paint. it at the house. He is lying, and I won. So, you can, can you use a t-shirt for stain top? Can you use a t-shirt for applying stain top? Um, On if you used a small piece for, I mean, you wouldn't want to wad the whole t-shirt up, but if you used a small piece of t-shirt for applying it to raw wood, that would work perfectly. Um, she may be thinking, take it back off, so you may want to explain it. She may be thinking what? You, you talk. What? Uh, so, you could use a t-shirt to apply it to, like, raw wood. Um, however, if you're thinking, oh, use a t-shirt to Here, take off the excess. Focus on that while you're staring off into space so they don't have to look at me. There make you sure you don't take it off. When you put the stain top on, it stays on self-levels no, and so dries. so they don't have to look at me. Go there. <laughs> so, you leave the stain top on and just let it dry so you don't have to take it off. So if you're applying with it, great, but if you're gonna try to take the excess off, don't take the excess off, it'll cause a problem. You cute little thing, you. I'm scratching your nose. There, you're back on. Thanks, hon. You're welcome. Okay, any more questions? Because yes. I need to beat up my husband. Yes, what? Um, where do you get your basket? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Question is? Where do you say no or before no? Oh, if you want to do before and after photos so that you're, first of all, so you can share so we can see how fabulous you did. And second of all, so that you can get in the running for the $35 customer creation thing, go to our Facebook page, which is the, um... Stand up and look like this because mm -hmm. your face looks like a little raccoon. Did you just tell me I look like a raccoon? No, no, I meant, no, no, I did Gosh, not. I meant, I meant... Anyway. Okay, if I do that, then all my chins are uncovered. No, they're not. You don't have any chins. So I'm supposed to do the video like this? Yes. Go to our Refund Junk by Lara Paint Q&A page. Next That's week, ridiculous. Next week you'll get the likes out, won't you? Oh! Okay, so <laughs> there is no orange paint. Tom loses. Refund Junk by Lara paint, paint Q&A page. No orange paint at home. For adding, you're lying, for adding the uh, before and after pictures. Any other questions? Uh, can you use a mason jar and still hang it up with a light? Can you, okay, hand me that mason jar right there. I understand the, can you paint a mason jar? We painted this one. If you put a light in it, it would shine We through. sanded this one. We painted it, we sanded it so you can see that, you can see that, and then we gunked on it too, and it's sticking, so yes, you can use a mason jar. Now, what are you gonna do, hang it for a light? You put a light fixture in it, sure. Yes. Any other questions? You need to look up And if bit. you, stop. And if you do that, I wanna see pictures, because that sounds really cool. So, if there aren't any more questions, we are done. Dave Fry said he got in trouble with Facebook. I think everybody's in trouble with Facebook right now. That's because he asked for a first-time present. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. We love you anyway. All Johnny right. Williams said you're beautiful, Laura, and you are. Let's say, so. No. So, as, 
signing off as raccoon. You're not <laughs> raccoon. You just told me I was raccoon. No. See why I have no self-esteem? No, you look beautiful. That's what I'm saying. But you don't, there's not enough light to bring out your the beauty above your cheeks. <laughs> my cheeks. Oh, my stars. I'll post the links for printing these and for printing what we printed on fabric. And I will post the finished pictures because we kind of, I mean, everything's done, but it's kind of got to dry and it looks better when it's dry. So I'll post those pictures. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly, truly appreciate it. Happy rethunking.